Hi guys, my name's Vicki and I'm with Texas Last Diet, Your Last Diet. And today I posted a little thing showing what I was gonna be using. I'm gonna be using cauliflower, rutabaga, and turnips. Now, most of you all make cauliflower and you make cauliflower rice, but do you even know why you use it other than it, it can be rice and potatoes and this and that and it takes on all kinds of flavors? Here's why you wanna use cauliflower. Well, first of all, it has vitamin B in it. Second of all, it has antioxidants and you know those keep us young and healthy, right? And third of all, it has tons and tons of fiber on it in it. So you know that's good for your stomach. All right, so did you know it's actually really good for weight loss too? Yeah, but my favorite thing, it helps you with your memory. <laughs> so if you're slacking and you're forgetting stuff, come on guys, buff up on the cauliflower. All right, now the other thing that I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this. And who knows what this is? This is half, because I already cooked half of it. Yes, you're right. Hey Pete, thanks for watching. This is a rutabaga. Now rutabaga, Smells kind of funky. It smells like dirt, but it is in the mustard plant. Did you know that? Now here's the deal. I actually thought it was in the potato plant family because it was in the ground, right? I don't know why I thought that, but the more things you learn about your vegetables, the more you're gonna wanna eat them. Now this baby here, this has tons of antioxidants in it. It also helps you with premature aging and lots of fiber but it, it can help you with weight loss and it has lots of potassium in it. So if you guys can get these into your diet, do it. I'm gonna show you how today. Now, this here is a turnip. Guess what family this is from? Okay, you're right. <laughs> it's the mustard family. That's because I already gave it away with the rutabaga. They're in the same family. And I will tell you, this one smells more funky than the rutabaga, I will, will say. But this baby here, vitamin A, K, B1, B3, B5, B2, uh, folate, it has all kinds of minerals in it, magnesium, magnesium, one of those other ones, iron, <laughs> uh, copper, and, oh, there's one more, one more, calcium. And, and this has tons of protein in it, and check this out, this has omega-3s in it, fatty acids. You guys gotta eat some turnips. All right, on to the cooking, because I know that's what you came for, right? So I basically took all three of them and put them in a steam pot, okay? And so you can do it anyway. You can throw them in the oven and roast them that way because they would be really good roasted. But I'm just gonna make mashed potatoes because a lot of people say to me, Vicki, I make cauliflower mashed potatoes and they taste like cauliflower, right? Well, if you mix all three of these babies together, they don't taste like cauliflower anymore. They taste like potatoes. It's really good. So what I did is I cut, basically try to keep it simple because you know that's what I do. I cut half of the cauliflower and I cut half of the rutabaga. Look at how pretty yellow that looks like. Isn't that cool? It kind of looks like a yam, doesn't it? Or sweet potato, whatever you guys call them here in Texas. So there's my half of my sweet potato. And then here's my turnip. It's nice and white. And so it's gonna kind of give my potatoes that yellowish russet potato color, right? So basically, I'm gonna move this hot pot out of here so I don't start sweating. And what you wanna do is take any blender that you have. Now I have this, hey Pete, thanks for watching. Hey Jamie, thanks for watching. I have this really cool thing and I love this thing mainly because I don't have to fumble around with it with my hand and stuff like that. And you just put this in here and just start mashing them. Now, if you want to use a blender or put them in your, I know a lot of you guys have those really cool, uh, what do they call, Cuisinart things that sit on your counter and stuff, go ahead and do that. But as you can see here, look it, they're starting to look like mashed potatoes already. Now, on Texas Last Diet, we always like to have you have a, some fat, all right? Now, here's the deal. You don't want to have a lot of fat because fat is good for you unless you have too much. And then it starts slowing down your body. Your body can't break it down. So you want to make sure that you limit your fat. Now, I have two servings of vegetables here. I know you guys are, but look at how good those look, huh? They're starting to look like potatoes. And you just kind of mush them down until the consistency you want. Now. I have two servings, so guess what I'm putting in? 
I put in two servings of butter in. Now, this is Kerrygold butter. You do not want to skimp on your butter. If you start getting those terrible butters that have different kinds of oils, your body can't assimilate those and break them down and use them. So you want to use good butter. Okay, I know there's a lot of people out there going, dang, that's expensive and stuff like that. But I will tell you, being in the hospital is a lot more expensive than using good butter. And this way you get to enjoy it, right? So I will take these potatoes here and you can make them into pancakes. You can put them on top of a, a roast, but I planned on getting my protein through moxie food. So guys, come on, man. Do those look like potatoes or what? And I will tell you, they taste like potatoes. Now I'm gonna put my Himalayan salt in there and some pepper too, to just spice them up. But I will tell you, if you like garlic potatoes, add some garlic in here. They're really good too and you will really, really, really enjoy it. Now, what I'm gonna do with my potatoes is I'm gonna put them probably over my vegan chicken um, curry, because I feel like a curry day. I know it's in Texas, it's supposed to be like 100 degrees, but it's still kind of cool. Eh. In my opinion, it's cool because I'm from Hawaii, right? So it's nice, it's rainy, and it's a definitely a potato day. So my name's Vicki with Texas Last Diet with not just cauliflower potatoes, but turnip and rutabaga potatoes too. And I will tell you, they are top of the line. You will have your kids loving them and you don't even tell them they're not potatoes. That's the big misconception. You guys tell them they're eating vegetables. They're gonna be like, eh, I don't like it. Don't do that. Just serve it to them. <laughs> I got a quick story to tell you. My daughter, she loves all her vegetables. It's really kind of cool. She had a friend over and I said, Joanna, hey, do you want broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, or um, I think I had, oh, Brussels sprouts in there. She goes, I don't care, mom, make whatever. So I was like, all right, and I asked her friend, hey, what, do you, what vegetables do you like? And you know what she said? Nothing, I don't eat vegetables. So I'm like, all right, no problem. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. You cool with mashed potatoes? Ooh, mashed potatoes with the heart on it. <laughs> She had two servings before my daughter actually spilled the beans. So don't tell them, just feed it to them. You're gonna change their lives and you're gonna change your lives too. Cause I will tell you, after you eat a bunch of these, you're gonna feel fantastic. My name is Vicki with Texas Last Diet, helping you get your immune system, eating all your vitamins and antioxidants, everything right here in vegetables. Isn't that cool?